Hello Candle Power Forums, Patriot back again for another HID warm up test. This time we'll be testing the Jill Light Easy Night 10 watt HID that uses the 10 watt solar ballast and uh, WA bulb. Um, this is a second night of testing. All the other tests were done on uh, the previous night. So I just kind of recalibrated things using the pH 50 and we're within 2% of that figure. So uh, I figure we're good to go here. Anyhow, I'll get the lights off and we'll get started. I just tested, or I should say I just charged the batteries in this light so everything's uh, ready to go. I'll talk more on that once we get going here. Okay, we're on. This this one will be a little bit slow to start. Now this light was designed to use four primaries, four CR123s. Uh, I've been using the light regularly with four three volt RCR123s. Now those cells are not actually three volts fully charged. They're closer to about 3.5 volts. So I'm actually overdriving the, the light by about 2 volts, but it seems to be able to take that, no problem. And I got to talking and kind of lost track here, but it looks like it actually stabilized early. And so I'll have to go back and review that. Uh, we'll just leave it run here for another 30 seconds because I see that it's dropping quickly. I shouldn't say quickly, but it did drop. I think it peaked out at 31 or 2. And it appears to be holding at 27. This light is rated at 500 lumens. It's probably putting out a little bit more than that since it's being overdriven. Okay guys, we'll call this one a test. Uh, obviously you can see the popularity of uh, 500 lumen LED lights compared to our HID. Uh, I just keep it because I like the light. I think it's uh, built like a custom light. It's, uh, it's very nicely made. There's not a whole lot of them out there. And yes, I love LED lights too, but uh, this one's a keeper for me. And no LED light can throw like this one unless it uses an aspheric lens. So, done for now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.